Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you or discussing with you how to use Exynos trading platform. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just on this video. So let's get started. So you might be looking for a different platform to start trading with. Well, in this case, you could actually try using Exynos. So first things first, you need to go to their official website, which is going to be exynos.com or go to the following website, which is my.exynos.trade. Now you need to have an account here in Exynos for you to start using their platform. So I would suggest you to uh, basically sign up uh, via their platform. You can even use your Google account to sign up. But in this case, once you've signed up, you should be able to see this UI here or a different UI, which in this case is going to be the trading UI I'll be showing, showing you later on. Now, in this case, you should be able to see the My Account section here. Now, for Exynos, the great thing about their platform is you could actually try using or try trading via a demo account. So you have a real account here, which is the actual account you have, which in this case, actual money that would actually contain your account here. But you also have demo here, which is uh, by terms is going to be using play money. But you could try using their platform here to try just basically practice trading here. In this case, uh, you could either choose real demo here and just click on trade here for you to actually start trading with. Now, also, if you want to challenge yourself, you could even click on the set balance here and specify how much you want to have on your demo account. Again, the demo account only contains uh, demo money. It's not actual money that you could actually withdraw. Now, in this case, once you've uh, chosen your uh, your specific account here, you'll be able to start trading. But go, I'll be going back later on this one since we want to first discuss uh, the other items that we also are able to see on our account. Now, if you go to the deposit section here, you should be able to see the different ways of actually depositing into your account. So we want to uh, basically add actual money into our account for us to start tr uh, trading and possibly getting some profit on the platform itself. But the uh, thing here in Nexus is you need to first uh, verify yourself. So for the items here, like for yourself, bank card, tether, cash over the counter options will only be available to you if you have your account verified. Now to do that, usually there's going to be a pop up here that says hello, fill out, fill in your account details to make your first deposit. Typically, you just need to click on complete profile here and just follow the steps on basically uh, adding your or basically confirming your profile here. In this case, you just need to add your profile information. You might need to provide some IDs just to verify your identity. So in this case, just click on complete now and just follow the steps for you to do that. Now, also the available deposit options here would actually depend on your current location. Like for example, if you're in the Philippines, it's going to give you an option to uh, have a, a way to deposit uh, via Gcash, which is a uh, e-wallet that is available locally. Now, if you go to the withdraw section here, this is where you, uh, from the name itself, you'll be able to withdraw money out of your account. In this case, you again, dependent, uh, depending on where you're currently located, the options or the withdrawal options here would actually depend on where you're currently located. Again, there's Gcash, Neteller, Online Bank Transfer, Paymaya, and a lot more. Now, you go and we go to the transaction history here. This one actually contains all the transaction histories that you have. For example, the last 30 days, last seven days, uh, custom date if you want that, even filter it via the transaction types. Might be deposit, withdrawal, transfer, refund, or whatever. Now, also, we have analytics here, which uh, from the name itself would actually contain analytics from your account. Now, in this case, there's going to be a different news like the dollar index here and a lot more. So if you want to learn more what's currently happening right now, this analytics is a great tool that you can use. You also have investment wallet here, which in this case uh, would contain your investment wallet. So that includes deposit, withdrawal, and transaction history as well. You also have social trading here. Like for example, you should be able to see uh, what people is currently um, investing on. And if you want to copy a specific uh, person here, you could even uh, copy them. Like for example, this uh, specific person here. So whenever you click on some of their name here, you should be able to see their profile, their leverage, the commissions, the investors that, that has the equity. So if you want to copy their trading style, you just click on start copying here. Now we also have performance here, which includes the summary, history of orders, excess benefits, and also the charts. So it doesn't, since our account is fairly new, it doesn't contain much on the information here. But as long as you start using the platform itself, it's going to auto fill, uh, fill itself. And you should be able to see your performance on the platform. 
Now, also you have settings if you want to uh, verify yourself uh, and for example uh, complete your details even go to security add like for example change your password add a two-step verification as well and take reading terminals reading conditions and virtual private server if you want to have those now in this case we want to now start trading now for us to start trading we just need to go to my accounts here and from here we need to set either real or demo account but for this one we will be using a demo account now from here, let's go and click on trade. Now in this case, we'll be using the XS terminal here. And from here, you should be able to see the XS web terminal. Now in this case, uh, this is what it's going to first look like. So at first it might get you overwhelmed, but uh, we'll be dissecting each of this one. Now in this case, the first uh, thing that you see here in the center is going to be the graph. As you can see, the default uh, graph that you have here is kind of confusing because of the other platforms that are using a different one. So to change this, I would recommend you to click on the top left here. You should be able to see the candles icon here. And from here, go ahead and choose the candles option. As you can see, you should be able to see if uh, a specific uh, uh, crypto here is on a downtrend or uptrend. You should be able to see it immediately. Now from here, as you can see, there's going to be different tabs that you could also switch to. And in this case, it's a great way for you to uh, basically keep tabs on different prices, what's currently happening right now. Especially if you're uh, watching different uh, crypto uh, for what is currently happening. So it's a great way for you to uh, track them. In this case, if you want to add another crypto, you just click on the plus button here and choose whatever. So for example, we have Apple. You can go and choose that and you should be able to see the current trend for Apple. Now, let's go ahead and go back to BTC here. So on the left panel, you should be able to see different tools that you can use. Like for example, if you want to use a cross dot arrow or razor for your uh, pointer here, you can even add the trend line, ray, info line, extended line, and even the other options here like a uh, fib uh, replacement and even the a a X A B C D pattern and a lot more. You can even add like monogons here if you want to to make things a lot funner for you. you even add like te uh, text itself if you want to as well. So yeah, so that's how you add different tools. So obviously there's going to be uh, different things uh, that they do. So if you want to learn more, they could, you could actually visit their website and uh, visit their help center to learn more about this one. But for now, we'll be just discussing the general information about these tools. Now in this case, again, there's going to be different functionalities for these tools here. Also, we have the uh, tab panel here. We have the one minute option here. So you should be able to see the current, uh, what's currently happening on your um, graph here. So for example, if you switch this five minutes, what's currently happening within the five minutes, if you change this to 30 minutes, this is the whole view of the 30 minutes of time span here. Yeah, you can even add indicators if you want to and even uh, change, uh, save the indicator to, as template and a lot more. Now, also, if you want to start buying uh, crypto, uh, you can just click on either sell or buy here. Now, if you want to sell or maybe uh, if you maybe if you want to buy something, just click on buy here. And from here, you just want to indicate how many lots that you want to buy. Like, for example, I want to buy 0 0.01 lots here or 0 .0 0 0.01 lots here. You can even change this to either a currency or units. So it depends on how you want to actually uh, buy something. So in this case, once you've done that, you can just click on confirm by 0.01 lots. In this case, it's going to click on it. As you can see, it's going to uh, it's going to say position open. Now, in this case, it's going to actually place an order here, which in this case, whenever it actually reaches a, reaches a specific price here, you will, uh, your account here will be able to buy BTC. Now, if you want to sell something, you can just click on sell here. And again, you need to indicate oh, what you want, uh, how you want to buy. So it's either in lots, currency, or units. So in this case, if you want to sell 0 0.01 BTC here, just click on confirm sell for 0 0.01 lots. In this case, it's going to, uh, again, add that into your um open section here so yeah also the top section here you should be able to see your current amount that you have right now on your account so if you also want to add reminders like price alerts here you could basically click on new alert here and whenever something uh or a specific cryptocurrency actually reaches a specific price it's going to remind you that hey the pdc just reached this price here so you could basically start trading uh anytime as long as you get that notification now, also, if you want to add money into your account, so for example, if you're using your real account, just click on deposit here. 
and you should be able to uh, make deposits on your account so in this case you can only make deposits on your real account here so but yeah so that's about it so those are the basics on how do you use excess here and that's it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video